Okay? We, we, we have no might against this great company, but our eyes are upon you. Amen? But our eyes are upon you. Many times, you know, the problem is our eyes are always focused on the problems that we're facing. Okay? The only way for you to change your problem is focus your eyes on the Lord. As, your, as long as your eyes are on your problem, as long as you focus on your problem and not on the Lord, then you will never solve your problem. Okay? But our eyes are upon you. Okay? And then, <clears throat> and then in verse 13, And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives and their children. And upon Jehiel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jehiel, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord. And upon Jehiel, who was Jehiel? The priest of the Most High God. Okay? The priest of the Most High God. So in other words, that was God's answer. He moved upon the priest. He moved upon the man of God. So many times, you know, when you are facing some problems, you know, God's answer would be moving upon the man of God. Just, God never changes. Amen. So the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehoshaphat and he was the priest. Now King Jehoshaphat was the king. Okay? The king was facing a, a, a great, uh, a, a, a difficult situation, so to speak. So God moved upon the, the priest. And his name was Jehoshaphat. Okay? And then upon Jehoshaphat came the Spirit of the Lord. Came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, the moment the Spirit of the Lord came upon the priest, he opened his mouth and he said, Amen. And he spoke the word. Again, the word plus the anointing equals the what? The word plus the anointing equals the what? The blessing. Amen. Are you receiving the word right now? Praise God. Then you are receiving the blessing. Okay. So every time the word of God is being preached and taught, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, then you're receiving the blessing. Now, you know, the man of God, you know, spoke the word the moment the Spirit of God came upon him. Verse 15, and he said, How can ye all Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou King Jehoshaphat, that saith the Lord unto you, be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of seas. And you shall find them at the end of the brook. Before the wilderness of Jeruel. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves. Stand ye still. And see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not. Nor be dismayed. For tomorrow go out against them. For the Lord will be with you. For the Lord will be with you. Amen. Now in verse 19, And the Levites of the children of the Koharites and of the children of Kor Korahites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. Sabi po natin, I am a believer. Okay? Pero hindi po doon nagtapos ang sinabi po ni King Jehoshaphat. Okay, yes, it is important for us to believe in the Lord our God. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be what? Established. Believe His prophets and you shall what? Prosper. Do you want to prosper in life? Now, in the kingdom of God, your prosperity is in the mouth of your man of God. I'm talking about kingdom of God prosperity. Now, in the world system, probably your prosperity is in the mouth of the economist. In the world system, your prosperity probably would be in the mouth of the politician, but not in the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, your prosperity is in the mouth of the man of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, now, <clears throat> so the priest would be the man of God. 
the king will be King Jehoshaphat. What happened? The moment they received the blessing, by believing the Lord and believing, you know, <clears throat> what the man of God said. Now verse 21, and when he had consulted with the people, are you still there? Second Chronicles chapter 20, he appointed singers unto the Lord and that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever and when they began to sing and to praise the Lord set ambushment against the children of Ammon Moab and Mount Seir which were come against Judah and they were smitten and for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir utterly to, destroy, to, to slay and to destroy them and when they have made an end of the inhabitants of Seir everyone helped to destroy another. So in other words, yung po mga kaaway po nila, sila po ang naglaban-laban. While they were praising the Lord, you know, you know, the man of God said, you don't have to fight in this battle. Amen? The Lord will fight for you. Are you still here? So they received the word, they believed the word. Well, hindi na pala tayo dapat pa lumaban pa. Anong gagawin natin? Let's praise the Lord. Okay, sa halip na yung kalang mga weapons, ang nilabas po nila, nilabas po nila yung mga musical instruments. And they began to praise the Lord. They began to, you know, to worship God and praise Him. And then, you know, it created, you know, confusion in the enemy camp. And the enemies destroyed one another. Now notice what happened. Now in verse 25, <clears throat> And when the people, okay, And when, verse 25, And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the what? They spoil. Spoil would, would be what? The, the wealth, the spoils of war. Okay? The spoil of them they found among them in abundance, both what? Riches with dead bodies and precious jewels, which they stripped off for themselves, more than they could carry away. And they were, how many days? It took them three days in gathering of the spoil. And it was what? It was too much. Amen? It was too much. You can just imagine, you know, yung tithes and offerings na ating natanggap ngayong linggo, ngayong araw na ito, yung ating mga tagabilang, it will take them three days just to count our tithes and offerings. Miyerkules na hindi pa tapos magbilang. Something like that. It's too much. Amen? So another, this is a classic example of the wealth of the wicked, the wealth of the world being transferred into the hands of the just. Now, the blessing of the Lord will cause the transference of wealth from, <clears throat> from the world into the hands of the children of God. There are many examples in the Bible. It happened in the Bible. It could happen again. And it cannot happen apart from the blessing of the Lord. Are we still here? It could not happen apart from the blessing of the Lord. Now, let's go on. Now, in verse uh, uh, 26, So they gathered the spoil for three days, and the next day, on the fourth day, they assembled themselves in the valley of Baraka, for, they, they, for there they blessed the Lord. Now, matapos nilang makuha po yung, uh, yung spoils, yung kayamanan, ano po ang unang lugar na pinuntuhan po nila with all those wealth. Mall of Asia tsaka Trinoma. Okay? No. They went to the Valley of Beraka. Valley of Beraka simply means Valley of Blessing. They blessed the Lord. Okay? They blessed the Lord. So yun po ang unang dapat po natin gawin. Every time we receive blessings, we ought to bless the Lord. 